hello there my darlings welcome back to my platform thank you for supporting as always remember to like comment subscribe share the content you are appreciated for all of your support even if you just feel like watching go ahead and do just that you are appreciated so let's go ahead and find out what indonema source is going on here your menace to society is back with her dry and quirky humor so let's get into this tea someone is having a hard time accepting the truth about you you are showing up as a star c someone of high moral character it's like someone has been going to get readings about you to verify you who you are it's almost as though you're calling yourself a star c and someone is in denial or someone knows that you are a star star c but they're having a hard time accepting the truth people around them are telling them that you are who you say you are or you are who the universe has revealed you to be and they just do not want to accept it we have a queen of cups here in the reverse this means this is someone that is absolutely disingenuous someone that's emotionally imbalanced very chaotic and toxic to be around this queen of cups in the reverse could have been working with a queen a king of swords and these two are experiencing some type of ending that is well due but this queen of cups there's something very specific about her it's almost as though this is someone that has been you know working behind the scenes pretending to be someone that she's not Possibly you, Starcy, um, and this woman is going through some type of immediate change, immediate ending, losing a lot of finances. Her health is not doing very well. This could be someone that's very sick and won't be able to recover from her illness. This could be something also that has to do with her mental. So this is someone that's not just emotionally imbalanced, but mentally imbalanced, and she is extremely reckless. So this is someone extremely toxic and dangerous to be around. Someone is going through like some type Type of withdrawal um, it's almost as though like your energy for this person was like a droop you know what I'm trying to say and now that they are deprived of your energy star C and it does not matter if you are a man or a woman this woman is going through some type of withdrawal it's almost as though that she also lost a battle coming up against you this is like someone taking on your persona for projecting their negativity onto you so it's like they go and tell people that you are toxic you're mean you're malicious you're a liar you're disingenuous you're a narcissist you're all these disgusting things but in reality this is really who this woman is and now that the truth has been revealed about your character she's having a hard time right this is someone going through a rude awakening like a, a tower that's just life-changing for her and the fact that we have the full full of swords here in the reverse she's in the reverse and then we have the death is not looking really good this is someone that's having to live with the truth face the truth is that she cannot pretend anymore that the truth is not there this is like someone walking around with a mask and this is what she's been doing for a while kind of pretending like everything is still okay like she's you know not going through these endings but behind the scenes honey this lady's life is is like destroyed okay um there's something she was expecting from another person either like a masculine or this was just a woman that was really fixed on you is that she wanted your life she wanted to be you. This woman, if she could have like worn your skin, she would have. If she had the opportunity to skin you and put your skin on herself, she will. Someone is very obsessed with you and it's very disturbing. I don't think this is healthy, that we should never be this obsessed with another person. It's almost as though someone is coming to the realization that you are not of this planet. You are a star C and they're realizing that there are from here but then they are obsessed with you because they want to be from a different dimension a different uh, uh, uh planet something like that it's like they want to be a star see they want to be one of the 144,000, but obviously that's not just something you can decide to be the universe created those 144,000 initially um for a reason that's not something that can be changed right of course some of those 144,000 has have fallen from grace but it's not impossible for them to work their way back up but this woman oh lord sh this is someone extremely superficial this is someone that's into magic this is someone that cannot pretend anymore she's being seen as someone that is disingenuous this could have been someone pretending to be psychic and things like that spiritual um but if she is spiritual this is someone that's into dark heavy work 
like heavy dark magic, right? This is someone that does a lot of mind games, manipulation, and she's so good at it that you don't know what's going on until it's too late. This is like someone guiding you to your grave, but they tell you you're going for a picnic. You know, they have the watermelon, they have the dessert and everything. And then, you know, they're going to take you. You don't have to worry about driving. They just want you to be able to sit back and relax. You two are going to have a conversation, things like that. Before you know it, you are at the end of a cliff being pushed down the cliff, right? This is that type of person. This is someone that will put on a show. You know, if you and her get in an argument, this is like a Karen, regardless of her race, she will play the victim. She will make up a story and act it out so well that the police will believe her and take her side. Someone is very good at manipulation and the people around her do not know that. They don't realize that they are being played like flutes right? There are her little puppets, her little minions that they're that she's using to carry out her dirty work. Someone in here is coming to this realization or a group of people are coming to this realization about this woman that she's just malicious, jealous, wanting to be someone else that she cannot be. It's like someone has been preaching this message about you, a false message about you, but people are starting to see the truth. But even though people see the truth, she still wants to reiterate the narrative that she's been preaching right even though it cannot stick so there's a lot of endings going on here she could have been working with a king of swords as well and this is someone that's going through some type of ending this could be someone that is learning a lesson the hard way it's that he got into something he should not have been a part of someone may have wanted to come in give you some type of uh immature love offer but spirit is protecting you from this person because they know this person's heart is not pure towards you now we know the energy can be fluid it can be a man or a woman and then we can all embody these energies at different times of the day in different times of our lives depending on the situations and the environments that we are in right so whoever this king of swords is is going through some type of ending but it's going to be a good ending for this person because they're going to come out of this brand new brand stinking new someone is learning crime on the the hard way this is basically what's going on anyways this person wanted to come in to give you some type of dis disingenuine love offer and this is because this person was working with a queen of swords in the background to block your resources and cause a lot of illusions and things like that people who have been lying about your health your state of being your mental things like that telling people that you are crazy just doing all kinds of shenanigans behind the scenes to block your forward movement and to block messages from coming to you to block people from connecting with you from to block people from seeing you in a genuine light but regardless of everything that's been going on you have stayed calm within this situation like you're not reacting to these people nonsense because you're mature and way above this it's so ridiculous most of these people are probably older than you in their 50s their 40s 60s and things like that and they don't know how to act their age is that people in this group because i do see the five of wands out here are very delusional it's like there's some type of illusion these people have chosen to accept uh, in order to believe that what they are doing is based on principle but there is no principle here it's like some it's like a group of people coming together to attack an innocent person right a star c um because they feel inferior to this person not because the person has done anything to make them feel inferior it is just that these people feel that way it's like people practicing magic or believing that they are powerful for many many years and then they come across one star c and this one person is more powerful than all of them put together so immediately they feel inferior to you and they feel like it's their purpose or their mission to take you down there is a masculine in here that is extremely conniving that absolutely does believe that it is his purpose in life to take you down and this person is going above and beyond wasting money working overtime to take you down but nothing this person do is meant to take you down no one can really end anything for you star c because the universe does not have it said that way your path is divinely guided right with you being at this level of ascension there is nothing people can really do to you to prevent you from fulfilling your purpose um whatever it is on earth it's like people trying to unalive you 
but you're not meant to be on a life. Um, you're meant to, you know, live a fulfilling life and will probably leave from this planet due to old age, the symptoms, the symptoms of old age, you know, we don't die from old age, but the symptoms that come with it, like, you know, uh, uh, tiredness, just being worn out. Sometimes you, uh, you just, you, you develop some type of, uh, um, fatigue, disease, or something like that. You're going to die of natural causes. It's not going to be like someone on alive in you. There's no like magic anyone is anyone is going to do that's going to lead to an ending for you. So you will be just a-okay. But these people have been working extremely hard behind the scenes to on alive you, to keep you trapped for a lot of you, just to cause you endings, to cause you distress and things like that. They're like partnering up with strangers, people you work with, people in your family, people who are your friends, you still be your friends, frenemies, and things like that. It is just really in, in, in interesting the length that these people have gone, right? I see the 10 of wands out here, which means these people are working extremely overtime, overboard to make sure that something does not make it to you, someone does not take action, someone does not come towards you, a union does not come together. Uh, someone or this group of people are telling someone that the union that they want to be in is not true it's not genuine it's not a wish fulfillment it's not divinely guided but it's it is an absolute lie anytime you see the two of cups in a reading it typically means that it's something genuine it's a genuine connection that is meant to be and when it comes together a new reality will be manifested that will be abundant prosperous successful feel of love that is of reciprocity things of that nature but there is the king of wands in here that is realizing that he has missed out on his chance to have this type type of union with his soulmate soul twin whatever it is we want to call it so this message he may have wanted to send you like a message or something but he cannot send it anymore or someone is realizing that you didn't receive a message they were sending you um someone is like up against a king of pentacles now right um they will the, the king of wands is realizing that he has lost his chance with you and now this king of pentacles may be stepping in you know finding healing in life going on going through some type of healing process in life in order to be ready for a genuine connection with you which is part of the reason why we have the six of cups out here someone wants to have a genuine connection with you not just based off of money but this person wants to build with you, build the empire, have the family, have the uh, genuine connection with one another, right? Be influential, be affluent with you, right? So this is what this King of Pentacles wants to have with you. This King of Pentacles is going through some type of betrayal. Someone may have like stolen some money from him or he's going through some type of betrayal that is karma. It's, that means that this King of Pentacles may have done something he was not supposed to do and it is biting him in the behind. Maybe he participated in doing something uh, in regards to you and the universe is whipping this person behind to put them in ship. It said, you know better than that. We told you not to do that, okay? You need to change your ways. And since you're not listening, we're going to do this. This is for your own good. So this man is learning a very hard lesson. And he's learning it the hard way. He could have lost a lot of connection, losing a lot of sleep and things like that. Um, it's just, it's a hard experience he's going to going through, but he'll come out of it just a okay, okay? So this, back to this Queen of Cups, this woman is extremely imbalanced. She and this King of Swords are going through some type of ending that is well-deserved. They were trying to cause you an ending because someone wanted to give you some type of genuine love offer. Someone wanted to extend a hand to you. Uh, she may have even been like envious or jealous of you because the very person she was working with had emotions for you. This person wanted to end some type of connection with her in order to come towards you and give you an offer. And she was extremely jealous of this. It's like this woman was pissed off. You know, it's kind of like, well, what's so good about her that's not good about me? What does she have that I don't have? The moment you start comparing yourself to another woman, you already lost the battle. And a lot of the times, these types of women don't even think about it that way. Um, so yeah, do not compare yourself to anyone. We are all unique and beautiful in our own ways. If a masculine wants to go be with another woman, let him go. 
if they're meant to be, it'll happen. If it's not meant to be, he'll learn the lesson he's meant to. Okay. But spirit is stepping in on your behalf, bringing balance into this situation. They're kind of over these karmics, especially this woman. It's like, honey, you are trying to compete where you do not compare. You have no business coming after this star C and you've been warned many, many times to back the heck up, but you're not listening. So you know what? It's the end for you. Okay. You're going to lose this. You're going to lose that. People are not wanting to work with you anymore. People are turning their back on you. This woman is going through some type of change and this is a hard change. Someone is still going through an emotional and mental breakdown. This could be someone that's having a hard time getting out of bed, just having a hard time functioning anymore. And this is because this tower is just so heavy for her. This is someone that wanted to steal something from you, but instead she ended up losing quite a lot. The tower that she wanted to cause you had to do with all these different opportunities that you were supposed to receive, um, but she feels entitled to them. She wants to be the one to receive these opportunities, even though they are not part of her soul contract, right? Her universal contract. These opportunities are not her, hers. Someone that wanted to swipe contracts with you, swipe reality or existence with you, swipe personality, identity. There may be something about identity theft in here or someone has just been studying you so hard and pretending to be another version of you and it's just really eerie. Things like that creep me out. Like just, you know, if you're not happy with who you are, you know, put in some work so that you can become happy with the person that you are. Do the necessary work from within so that it can show on the outside as well. We, no one is perfect. We all have flaws and things like that we are working on. Well, some of us are working on them and other of, other of us are pretending like they're not there. And then they end up turning into these types of characters. Okay. Um, but this woman who was working really hard on causing a lot of illusions and everything is being seen. It's like everything she did, nothing happened to you. It's like she was trying to cause you a lot of endings, but she ended up losing quite a lot. And throughout all of these things, you still stay quiet. You found the strength to stand out here in confidence, live in confidence, walk out in confidence. You know, people wouldn't be even able, able to tell all of the things that you've been going through behind closed doors. Uh, and this is all because of how you carry yourself, right? It said you could you could lose a job today and then walk outside tomorrow smiling um, and you're losing the job because of what someone like this is doing behind the scenes. It's not because you don't qualify for the job or and it's not because you don't know how to do the job, but it's because people that are malicious like this are pulling strings behind the scenes to make sure that you don't have that job or if you have the job that you don't have any peace at that job. They try to complicate things, you know, make you out to be something that you are not. But you are walking in confidence, living in confidence. You're going to receive some type of news that's going to help you put an end to some type of toxic cycle that has been going on for quite a long time that you did not do anything to um, bring on yourself because this is all, this was all brought on by actions of other people behind the scenes. You have quite a few masculines in here. A lot of them are upset because it's like they had some type of interest in you, whether it was work or romantic, and they cannot have these opportunities with you. And this is because spirit is stepping in to block these people out of your energies. Energies, yeah, because their intentions for you are not pure. Someone sees you like as a cash cash couch or whatever they call it is that someone sees you as a source of money like they know they can you know make a lot of money out of you so it's not like they care about you they just know that you can be a source of of income for them it's like let's say you have like a producer uh like a manager or someone like that right that sees you and they know that they can turn you into let's say a movie star an influencer a tiktok star a youtube star things like that. So that's all they see is money, money, money when they see you. So you could be someone beautiful, someone gifted, someone talented. And when this person see you, they go, oh yeah, I have this very perfect plan, this really perfect plan. She's going to make me a lot of money. I need to get to her, you know, and they don't care like how it makes you feel, whether you want to do it or not. They just care that they have this plan and it's perfect for you. So they're going to bring it into existence. You got to be mindful of people that don't take your 
feelings into consideration or your opinion into consideration when they make decisions for you is that excuse me who the heck do you think you are that you get to make decisions for me right uh, so just be mindful there are a few masculines in here that are not all the way there mentally uh but someone here is going through healing and i see this king of pentacles this person is going through healing he's actually doing the work right and so if he does decide to approach you he will come to you in a genuine energy uh, this would be this would be someone that is healed, someone that's not financially motivated anymore, someone that's superficial. They will be coming to you in a genuine energy. This could be someone that used to have like some type of fixed mindset. Uh, uh, someone that someone was not spiritual in the past. The fact that I'm seeing this page of cups here in the reverse means that this masculine was not spiritual in the past. He maybe had intuitive gifts, but he never utilized them maybe, or he just was not public about it. This is something he was hiding about himself for some of you. But now this masculine is choosing to embrace this aspect of himself. So he's going through a healing process. Of course, he's experiencing some type of loss. It could be financial and things like that. This person could be walk walking away from some type of connection he had with another person maybe that connection was not as fulfilling as he wants it to be or as he believed it was so now he's leaving it behind him in order to find wish fulfillment um and a genuine and pure life connection with other people and with you later on down the line okay um there is some type of message you will be receiving people have been trying to block this but it'll still come to you it's just going to happen in a creative way that spirit has lined it up right there's some type of uh, um some, someone is going to give you something. It could be finances that is in regards to your work or it's going to help you take better charge of your life so that you can move forward and live in your truth. You know, focus on doing what it is that you love to do. Someone could have wanted to interfere with this. It's like someone wants you to refuse this offer from this masculine or whoever this is, but it's not going to happen that way. You are going to be having like a brand new passionate beginning in love, in life overall, like in your dreams. Why are things that have to do with your pentacles? You are about to be like very inspired to just kind of start all over or to keep pushing forward in life. So right now you could be going through some type of stagnation where you maybe things are not moving at the rate that you wanted them to move or you intended for them to move, but it's quite okay. There is a new inspiration that's going to be coming. You're going to find a whole lot of passion in order to move forward so you can gladly and boldly step into your queen of pentacles energy and be able to move forward and this group behind the scenes honey there if they hated you before they're about to despise you now because they're going to be watching you go through this change this uh ascension this upgrade and they are going to hate you for that but i wouldn't give a damn for one second because what's yours has nothing to do with these people this this is just people that are envious and are refusing to do the necessary work in order to heal Anyways, while this King of Swords, Queen of Cups, reverse are going through these endings, closing these chapters, um, because this toxic chapter that they've been prolonging for a long time has been causing a lot of mayhem and spirit is bringing an end to it. So while you are having a brand new passionate beginning in life overall, these people are going through endings and things like that. And these are endings they were intending for you, right? While you are rising from the ashes, taking charge of your life, moving forward boldly, your enemies are going to be in mourning, right? Someone here has been living very superficial, overindulging in things, uh, you know, just doing too much much like Madea said too much too much they've been doing too much out here honey um and spirit is humbling this person someone wanted to cause you a lot of financial loss they didn't want you receiving some type of uh financial opportunity in order for you to be able to seal onto calmer waters move on with your life and things like that but someone has has had some type of false victory it's like someone did something to you and they thought they had succeeded or defeated you and they instantaneously found out that they had effed up really bad and now they're losing quite a lot but this is someone that is extremely stubborn. So they're going to keep trying to steal from you, block you, 
They're going to keep trying to take actions towards you, even though they're being blocked out of your energy. And this is a group effort as well. There are members of this group that are kind of just getting over it. So at some point, it's going to be like the last man standing. And it's going to look extremely pathetic uh, because it's like there were 300 people, 100 people, and now there's only one person standing. Uh, so it's going to be like, yeah, the 300 of us got together to take this star seat down and we were unable to do it. Um, and now it's just you left and you don't think you should just let it go. But someone is very st stubborn here, right? And this is because of their ego, narcissism, narcissism, things like that. So they're going to keep trying and trying and trying. By the time this person stops trying, they will be poor possibly begging in the streets and things like that may not be able to find a job anywhere they are it's like they'll go looking for work and they'll be told we're not hiring even if the companies are hiring so someone is literally destroying their own lives slowly um but voluntarily right because they've been warned many times not to do what it is they're doing but they're still set on doing it so we'll see how this ends right um some someone is also someone in here is very malicious extremely malicious they are waiting for the right time to come in and block your forward movement again it's like someone is just sitting there and waiting and say da 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 do 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 like they are waiting as soon as they see either a message coming to you someone coming to you you're about to accelerate in work career business or something like that they're going to come in and try to do something to block your forward movement but it's not going to happen it's going to be intercepted because spirit is on this like i don't know what it is but someone's ancestors or your guardian they are very sick and tired of someone around you or someone that's been messing with you. It's like at this point, someone is either going to lose their life or they're just going to lose everything. It's like going to bed one day, you're a millionaire, and the next day you wake up and you have nothing. Like you have nothing. You may have to beg for money, borrow money from people. People may not want to lend you money because they know you don't have any money. So they don't trust you to pay them back. But someone is slowly destroying their life, okay? And it's preventable, but this is someone with a lot of ego. So they're going to keep doing this where as soon as they see you about to succeed in something, they'll come in and try to block you. But spirit is kind of over it because this is kind of redundant, childish, immature. Uh, like every action this person takes is kind of letting the people around them know that they need help. In life overall, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, this is someone that's mentally unstable. Someone may be even telling this person that this, like, something is wrong with your mental. You need to go and get help. Like, leave this person alone. But they're not listening. It's like someone is obsessed with you. I got to be around that star C. I I got to take them down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They're about to get success. They're about to achieve success. I have to block it. And someone is just looking at them like, what is wrong with you? Why are you messing with someone that's doing nothing to you? This is what's going on here, right? But we're going to let these types of people ruin themselves, okay? Someone has a lot of passion for you. So they may be taking action to come towards you in their own way and in their own time to help you out, right? Um, And also, I don't know why I keep getting this. Someone is accepting donations a bribery to pay for magic, pay for dark work, pay for spell work to be sent to a divine being so that they can be stopped, to block love, to block some type of offer from being given to them. Someone is someone just really hates you or someone is just jealous of the way that the universe loves you. And it's kind of bothersome that someone is this focused on another person. Like, grow up, grow up, and grow up. I don't know how else to put that, but honey, grow up. Um, Go get healing, go for therapy, counseling. You need that. 
and some more. Um, anyways, so this person working over time and things like that to come and block you is not going to lead to anything but their own destruction. You will not be losing anything. They're the ones losing their peace of mind, their sleep, their finances, because they are paying other people to mess with you behind the scenes and things like that. So these people are as absolutely the ones losing more than you are. You're not losing anything. You're not going to lose your life. You're not going to lose your health. You're not going to lose anything. Um, you are going to pass away from an old age. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I see this four of swords in the reverse, which usually has to do with death. But if you can see the Queen of Cups reverse, it's the one next to that. So someone could be passing away, unfortunately, but their birthday is on themselves. Someone could be having some type of health issue they cannot get rid of. They brought this on themselves. They cannot blame you for anything, okay? um, You are showing up here in a beautiful energy as the magician and as the star. This means that you are someone extremely powerful. Your destiny is in your hands, right? You guide your own path. If you need something, all you have to do is ask the universe for guidance, for assistance, and they are glad to give it to you. And this is because of who you are, the amount of work you've put into yourself, the kind of energy you put out into the universe, the fact that you are willing to volunteer your time to help other people heal and things like that. So the universe is at your disposal and they know they can trust you with this privilege because you're not going to misuse it, right? Someone is extremely upset behind the scene, honey, not that we care because you are receiving these new opportunities, not just in finance, in career, but in love as well. You are about to be maybe surrounded by your own soul tribe, right? You may be making new friends that genuinely care about you and want to see you succeed. They're not there on childish things where they're trying to block your forward movement and keep you trapped and things like that. So you have a lot of beautiful energies that will be connecting with you. Um, there is a queen of pentacles as part of this toxic group. This is like the, one of the women that have just been, honey, working over time, over time, honey, to block you. This person has, has a special kind of hate for you and the kind of hate this person has for you, words alone cannot express it. You are showing up in your queen of pentacles energy and this woman is showing up in a queen of pentacles energy, but you two are complete opposite. This is a false queen of pentacles energy. This is not someone that's genuine. This is not someone nurturing. This is not someone who's a great mother. This is someone that pretends to be close with their children, but if they have a, a daughter, the two of them don't even get along, but they were, she pretends like she and her daughter gets along. I'm getting like a really false character. Whereas you are showing up here as very genuine, someone hardworking, uh, you are destined to have abundance. You are going to be leaving a legacy by the time you are leaving this planet to go home. You will have a whole legacy that you will be leaving for the generation uh, um, after you. So you have a very beautiful and bright future ahead of you. There is a whole group fighting a king of wands because he still has love for you. He's seeing you as his soul twin, his twin flame, whatever we want to call it, whatever makes us feel comfortable. And these people absolutely hit the fact that regardless of everything they've done, this man still sees you as his love option. Like they don't want this man to see you as someone genuine. They don't want this man to see you as someone that's a love option. They don't want this man to extend any type of opportunity or offer to you, whether it's love, business, or whatever. These people could want this man also to come towards you to cause you some type of illusion. They say, okay, so we know you want to be with your twin flame, blah, 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 blah. But we need you to do this one thing. Can you do this one thing for her, us? When you get with this this uh star c can you record her doing this can you record the two of you doing this can you do this can you it's like all low vibrational things that they possibly want this masculine to do when he comes towards you and uh yeah sir don't do that because you are not going to be in this feminine energy with those types of intention the universe is not going to let you in this person's energy with those types of sick intentions ill intentions if people can manipulate you that easily, then you are not worthy of being what a star see because you have to be self-minded. You have to be a discipline and things like that. But at the same time, being mentally 
uh, free to see and accept these types of people for who they are. Um, so you kind of have a lot of growing up to do, sir. I don't know how old you are, not that that even matters. We can be 60 years old and still act like teenagers when it comes to maturity, so that does not even matter. But it does look like the two of you were supposed to have some type of connection, but this masculine did not honor his side of the contract, the universal contract, so he's unable to send you the message or connect with you in an authentic way. Um, and this is because of him partnering up with either his friends or his families to take you down, to cause you endings, to block your forward movement, to cause you stagnation. And now you have a higher level soulmate that is stepping in to fulfill this contract with you, okay? And that's how it's set up with a lot of star seeds, right? If one person does not fulfill their end of the contract, the universe has backup. <laughs> the universe has partners on layaway for you. So one does not work out, you best believe there's another option for you that will come in to fulfill that purpose. And if the if it does not work out with that one, there's another option, right? Um, and it's also the same, like uh, not the same, there's also purposes for some of these masculines or feminines in your life. They're there to teach you a lesson. A lot of the times also with like these twin flame situation, these twin flames are really there to teach you a karmic lesson. It's the the universe will put you with a twin flame that's extremely toxic, but they may be good looking or they are good in other departments. And you know, they are very toxic for you, but the universe wants to see how long you're gonna keep putting up with this toxicity all in the name of someone looks good or they are good at doing something with you, right? Uh, so a lot of the times too, you are being tested. Are you going to find your worth and speak up and stand up for your worth? Or are you going to keep putting up with toxicity just because someone looks good or they do something very well for you? Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let's do a little bit of a recap here. I love doing my recap. Um, this tower that was meant to cause you some type of illusion is not happening. Uh, your enemies, frenemies, whatever we want to call them, are the ones experiencing this ending. Someone is experiencing a lot of sorrows. They're losing finances, losing some type of love opportunity as well someone was collecting donations behind the scenes or paying people behind the scenes to interfere with the love connection um if they succeeded they were meant to nothing is accidental in creation everything happens accordingly so if they were able to block a union between you and a masculine that should let you know that that masculine was not mature enough to be with you in the first place because emperors which is which are the types of people that you should be wanting to connect with Emperors are not easily, easily manipulated. So if a man can be manipulated, that means that there's something that he needs to work on within himself. Um, I don't care how many people tell me that someone is a, 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 a toxic, karmic, a liar, whatever. I have to find the truth out for myself. Okay, so I don't care how many times you tell me Billy, Billy is a this, Billy is a that. I have to take time and get to know Billy for myself so I can decide if Billy is what you said Billy is, right? Because everyone deserves to have a fair chance uh, in being treated with courtesy, respect, dignity, things like that, with love and kindness. So if I extend my hand, my genuine hand to Billy, and it turns out that Billy is what you said Billy is, then yes, I will move accordingly. But if I reach my hand out to Billy and Billy turns out to be a fabulous person, yes, I just made a new friend, okay? So this Queen of Cups, as I mentioned, this person is going through some type of ending. Whatever plan she had to come towards you, or the, uh, uh, whatever plan she had to block your finances, steal your finances, block your forward movement, pin you in a negative light, it's not happening. Someone is being seen as extremely superficial, money focused, uh, just dumb as well. Someone is seeing this woman as very dumb. I don't know why that just came out. Someone thinks that someone is mentally, you know, the R word that we're not supposed to use. Yes, that R word. She's mentally R, right? Um, someone is just unhinged. It says someone is that well, she's she's pretty, but there's nothing else to her. It's what I just heard. It says she's a hair airhead. She don't know nothing. Dang. I just heard someone say, dang, it's like a masculine is sitting there like rubbing his head. Like he said, oh my God, she's dumb as heck. <laughs> but 
this woman is into doing magic and this is how she's able to uh, uh, attract partners, friends, and things like that by doing manipulations and things like that. This is someone that manipulates so far ahead that you don't even know that sometimes she has been working on you for years, right? Um, this is someone who like everything she does is planned out. So nothing is really genuine for her or with her. And that's kind of scary. Um, ooh, that's kind of scary. Um, but she's being seen as someone disingenuine. It's like the truth about this woman is being seen, right? She's not intuitively gifted. She does not have a connection with source. She has no spiritual gifts. She's not eccentric. She's not being seen as someone very special and things like that. She's just being seen as a karmic. Is what I just heard. She's a karmic, okay? And then we have this king of swords in here. You're showing up in this energy as well, my dear. And this is because you've been forced to step into this king of swords energy, right? You've had to take life into your own hand, your destiny into your own hand, because people have been trying to take this away from you unjustly, right? So at some point, you were in this energy as the king of swords, you know, laying the law down in your life, making sure no one cross you, no one tries you. If anyone tries you, you know what to do to put them in their place so that you can keep moving forward on your path, on your journey. You found courage to keep moving on. And this has enabled you to move on to calmer waters. Some of you are still going through this and you are supposed to be stepping in your King of Source energy, not taking nothing from no one because this is going to be how you are able to move on to calmer waters so that you can step back into that star energy, that gentle energy, gentle but powerful energy where people see you as a blessing and things like that. You have to learn how to take on these different energies in order to thrive and survive and learn the lessons that you were supposed to. It does not mean that you are manipulative uh, or deceiving. It just means that you know how to carry yourself when and how to carry yourself, right? And this King of Pentacles may be seeing you as someone very inspiring. Like this person sees you as a blessing, right? They want to give with you. Of course, he's going through some type of ending um, and things like that. There's some type of message that someone stole. Someone may have stolen a letter. Someone may have blocked a letter. Someone may feel offensive because of the fact that you are the truth. You are someone very uh, uh, confident within yourself. It's almost as though for some of you, someone may see that maybe you are of a particular complexion and they think they're better than you because they are of a particular complexion and they are offended at the fact that you are confident within yourself. I always find these people with this type of mindset very interesting. Is that, hmm, I want to pick your brain. I want to understand how it is you came to this conclusion. But anyways, this thief is being sat down. Uh, someone is going through some type of withdrawal and things like that. It says someone is like not having a good day, not having a good week, not having a good month, not having a good year. They are not going to be having a good time anytime soon because this person is losing a lot. It's like spirit is setting some sitting someone down in time out. It's like go sit down and think about what you did, why you did it, how you got here, and things like that, and what you will do different or better next time so this does not happen again. So someone is in time out, right? And this pen, uh, King of Pentacles may have gone through the same thing as well because he interfered or involved himself in something that he should not have involved himself in. Someone could have received or accepted some type of bribery to do something to you. It's like either someone was also watching you for a friend, they're keeping an eye on you for a friend, and maybe the friend told them some really nasty things about you that was not true, and this King of Pentacles may be coming into the realization that he was participating in something that was a, a, a barbaric, and he is being guided by spirit to move on. This could be like a, a, a I don't want to say a falling angel, this King of Pentacles, um, but there's something very... Um, otherworldly about this person this could be someone that has like a gift of discernment someone here is very spiritual like this masculine is very powerful very very powerful but i think he hides this okay um so there <laughs> you have a lot of different options here for some of you in love there's a knight of cups that wants to extend a hand to you but he may not be able to because he himself 
participated in something that he should. It's like all of these masculines were in something that they should not have gotten into. And this is because of this woman lying, misrepresenting herself and things like that. So they should let you know how manipulative this woman is. And this is someone that sees herself as powerful because she can manipulate people. And that's not how power works. She does not realize that she's been destroying her own life little by little, little by little with each, with each uh, uh, manipulation she's been doing. She has been destroying her path, her life, her chance at abundance, her chance at prosperity. Someone has lost literally everything. Money, health, relationships, connections. People don't want nothing to do with this woman because they're seeing her for exactly who she is, right? Um, so there is something also that you are passionate about that will be coming to an end so that you can step into a brand new beginning um, for some of you. Uh, and this is after a heavy betrayal betrayal that you went through. Uh, someone was very much stern on causing you an ending. Someone wants to also give you some type of false love offer just to betray you. But just know that you are protected. You will always be protected, right? Your angels are always there with you. I keep hearing that someone may have seen like either your halo or like a guardian around you. So someone, because they saw this, is going through some type of change. It says like someone was sent to do something to you, but they saw something that is supernatural, otherworldly around you. And so now they are very much either pissed off at the person that sent them, or they are just afraid because they know karma is coming back for them, right? Or they assume that karma is coming back for them, right? You are going to be receiving a brand new opportunity, a brand new work opportunity. You will have to put in a lot of work into this, this new uh, beginning and things like that. You're going to have to work really hard, right? But you will be successful because as you can see, you're here, here as the queen of pentacles. And then you have the ten of pentacles below you as well. That means that all of your hard work is going to pay off in this new beginning, this new start right? It is going to be challenging, but you are going to be able to take a, a hold of this and guide it in the right direction, put in the right amount of work and things like that so that you can have this legacy that you are meant to have. This reading is a lot longer than I intended for it to be. Gosh darn it, we are at 46 minutes right now, but we're almost done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this message. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content as well. Uh, you are the queen of source out here, honey. I am loving it for you. You are calling judgment, meaning, meaning you're taking charge. You say, you know what? I am sick of you people messing with me. This is what it's going to be. I'm tired of you trying to take from me. I'm try tired of you uh, trying to cause me endings and things like that. And you are calling the universe to take action on your behalf. You are telling them, you know what? I have been playing nice long enough. I am not playing nice anymore. I want this to happen. I want this to happen. I want this person to leave me alone. Whatever it is, they said that I should lose. They should lose it. I didn't do anything to these people. Of course, you didn't do anything wrong to these people, but they are part of your soul contract, right? They are here to help you grow. This is part of why we have karmics in our lives. The things they do to us and against us are meant to help us grow and elevate. And then in the same sense, it's helping them grow and elevate. Some of these people are realizing that not everyone they come across are they going to be able to defeat. You are the one that they were unable to defeat and you are the one they will never be able to defeat. It's an, it is an illusion for these people to keep believing that they will destroy you, right? Because it keeps this little game of theirs going on. It's a game for them for now, but then when spirit steps in, it's no longer a game because of how, how much they stand to lose, right? So someone may want to, you know, come in and take some type of drastic action and things like that to bring chaos in your life. They don't want anyone connecting with you. This is a whole group effort. They're going to keep doing this, as I said, until spirit steps in. And it looks like spirit is doing that. 
people are about to be humble and things like that. You are still having this genuine connection with this person. There could be someone from your past as well that was part of this toxic family dynamic, group dynamic, whatever we want to call it. Then someone here is not having a good day, a good week, a good month, a good year, a good life. This person is going through some type of ending. There could be someone in this toxic group that is reaching out to someone from your past in order for them to reach out to you, reconnect with you so that they can block this opportunity from coming towards you, but it's not going to work out that way. So anyways, I am going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.